Welcome back, friends. I appreciate you being here, and I thank you for all your well wishes over the past few weeks when it came to my family issues and then also my sickness. I really do appreciate you all. But today, I could think of no better video than to come back and talk about Saikano because Weish War has deemed it necessary to put all three sets out. And there was a lot of thoughts that came to my mind, kind of like three strikes and you're out or third time's the charm. And we got the three strikes you're out. Saikano still sucks no matter how many sets you're going to put out on it. And there's a lot of reasons for that, right? I ended up telling people you probably don't shouldn't. Don't buy, don't buy. But still, some people bought it, which is cool. Everybody can choose the sets they like. I mean, there's a lot of fans of the anime out there. But some of the people that wanted to sell it, they find themselves in the, the house of pain. And you're going to be there for quite a bit of time. And I'm going to show you the reasons why. So I'm going to go over the anime following the meta usage of these. I'm going to go over the cards and prove to you why nobody actually wants this stuff. Because some people are curious why... You know, why doesn't Saikano do well? Is it because of the anime? Is it because of the cards? Well, you're going to find out today. So what you're going to see here on this is going to be all three sets. And you're going to see the date of release. Notice at the bottom is your JP. So 2018, 2019, and 2022. Guess what English did? They decided to put out set number one four years later. Now, when you think about card games... And you think about power creep, what does that really tell you when a set comes out four years later when some of the more current stuff still came out and this one came out behind them? It's not going to go very well. So you can see on the English side, 2022, 2023, and 2024. They thought it was necessary to put it out, but it's not going to be good in the end if you were investing in this. Now, when I take a look in my buyer and invest videos, I talk about the anime popularity. You can see this on my anime list. You got season one, season two, and the movie. And as you can see, the score actually goes up. The amount of users go down. It makes sense because over time, you start losing some people. Uh, maybe they're just in it for one season. We all know when you watch an anime or TV show, the best season probably was the first season. Most cases, anyways. Now, as you can see here, Season 1 came out in 2015, Season 2, 2017, and the movie aired in 2019. So again, you think about when this set was released, just final set was released for Y Schwartz English. It is the year 2024. That is a long time in between. If you think about the first set that came out, right? Let me just flip back over here. Came out in 2022. When did the anime air? Oh, it aired in 2015. And one of the theses that I've always had is an anime IP strength, the following, right? People are going to want it. That is a lot of years later. And over time, you see the following has decreased. So the interest in the set is not going to be as high, especially on the English side. I love the anime myself. I like Ari Ree. She's my favorite. But I know some people that watch anime still have not seen this show. This is not for them, right? Not everything's for everybody. Now, I'm going to show you this right here. We're going to just take a look at the sealed, and you're going to see set one. It is pretty abysmal, right? Like, just, just take a look at this. You have trial decks. You have single trial decks for $8.91. You have booster boxes for $19.69, and that is the actual price. There, that, that includes shipping. So what I did, if you take a look at the trial deck display, you're going to see $14, but I clicked into it, and there's another $24.99 in shipping. So when you see the prices right here on the screen, that includes shipping, or I put the little additional thing on there. So a booster box, $19.69, and you're going to be wondering why, and the answer is the EV. People do not want the cards inside of these things for very specific reasons, which I'm going to go over. Next is set number two, the booster box is $31.99 plus $2 of shipping. A case is $789.94. It actually sold a lot less. You could see the market price, $4.95. Now, the last set that we're on currently, remember it just came out on April 19th, so it's got a, lot, a bit of time for it to drop, which I imagine it should be doing. So if you take a look at the booster box, $54.99 with $2 of shipping. The booster box case, $1,200. And that's just because there was a recent sale of $950 literally today. Now, take a look at 
the booster box side. What do you find interesting about it? You have seven boxes in total sold for $74.93. Well, actually, one for $74.93 and the six were $74.95. Sorry, I didn't want to misguide you here. What I'm what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to go over the hard truth. Now, there's going to be people out there that are going to tell you this stuff's the greatest, the cards are amazing, all that good stuff. But, you know, here on this channel, I'll blow smoke up your ass. This is just going to be what it is, the harsh, harsh truth. Now, you're going to find out why people don't want to buy this. So, you know, you take a look at the booster box, and today is April 25th. Let me just double check that. Yeah, April 25th. That's not even a joke. So you've gone without sales of booster boxes. Well, I guess you could say the booster box case, but individual booster boxes have not sold for 24 days on TCG player. Can you name any TCG off the top of your head or set that failed to actually sell a booster box within a week of its release? Right, here you go. You got Psychata. There you go. Now you got that. I mean, again, if you don't count the case, uh, it's just what it is, okay? Now, the reason why is this is set number one. There are no signatures on here. On the left side, you're going to see the JP side with signatures. On the right, where the little pink arrow is, that's what the English side got. They got stamps, no signatures whatsoever, right? So uh, what they decided to do was inside of the booster box, you can get a serial number. Inside of the trial deck, remember the trial deck individual 891? That thing, no serial numbers whatsoever. I don't really understand the thinking on that. Uh, you just stripped away another additional thing that you could have incentivized people to buy. But, you know, let's, let's not do that. Let's not do that. On set number two, the art got a little bit better, but as you can see here, same thing happened. No signatures, you got stamps, you got serial numbers. And on set number three, there was SPs and at the bottom were SECs, which obviously you could see people wanted the art on there, so they're gonna fetch a little bit more of a premium, but as you can see, we have no sort of signatures on here and it does matter, it's something special that is added on top of this product but when you take that away you can pretty much guess that people are going to be looking for serial numbers and if people open enough of these what you're going to have is a devaluation of the regular sps and thus we have this one of the other things that i want to just segue in here before i get back to why Schwartz is there was a set release of Saikano from Build Divide. Yeah, this is a Japanese game. It came out on Friday, January 12, 2024. Now you take a look at these cards. These are the higher cards inside of this set. We got all of our beautiful girls with amazing art and they also have signatures on here. I showed you the biggest hits from Saikano set one, two, and three in Y Schwartz. Now you tell me, you tell me which one would you rather have. I mean, again, if you want to play the game, you can you can make that argument. But if you're looking at art all day, every day, build divide, I would get these cards. There's no doubt in my mind. That Airy looks awesome. I definitely would love to have that card myself. Now, going back to Y Schwartz, if you take a look at the SPs, this is uh, pretty brutal. I didn't mo bother moving around the trial that the trial deck is the one that shows us sixty nine dollars and ninety nine cents if you actually click into that there was a recent sale in the thirty dollars and remember this is your trial deck sp you know you have trial deck sps that sometimes are eighty one hundred dollars i could think about let's say licorice recoil i could think about attack on titan final season but you have this Megumi all the way down in the 30s that made a sale currently sitting at $69.99. Nobody wants that. So you, again, you go think about how much that trial deck was actually worth. And it kind of makes sense why nobody actually wants it. Now, there are triple rares inside of that trial deck. And they do look amazing. I do have all of them over there in my nice dark drawer that is sitting over there. They're really nice. It was actually... Funny, because people would buy these trial deck displays not to get... I mean, I guess if you wanted the SP, it's not so bad, but people were wanting those triple rares bikini cards, which were really nice. So the rest of the screen, as you see here, are your booster box 
um, SP. So I have that area read down there, serial number. As you can see, you're not going to find any of those listed on TCG Player. They just don't exist out there. You probably have to go to a Facebook group. I didn't check eBay or anything like that, but I wanted to show you on TCG Player, they do have li separate listings for set one. Now, if you look at these prices, and now you consider these are the biggest hits from the box. Anyways, normally they would be your biggest hits, right? And you look at the prices, 43, 53, 30, 24, and 35. What does that tell you about this actual set? Why is this booster box $20? Now moving on to set number two. Here are your SPs. This time around, TCG player didn't bother separating out CO numbers at all. I don't know why they made that change. But here you go again, 50, 50, 25, 50, 249, 111, 153. But again, it is... Something you should know, it's about liquidity and supply and demand, right? When you look at these, you have a sale for Avery, you have a sale for Udaha, but the other, actually, oh, and then you have Izumi, you have three. Three out of the six actually have some sales. People actually want it. Now, there are other three, no sales whatsoever. So they're either, you could always say they're overpriced or there is a horrible lack of demand for them. And you can make an argument for both. It could be a combination for both. And uh, this is going to be something you're going to see on the third set as well. And no surprise. This is going to be your SPs. We got 175, 189, 135, 100, and 249.99. And what you're going to notice again, no sales. Nobody wants them. And I know people asked me before what I think the prices of these set three SPs are going to be like. Well... I got two other sets in front of me that kind of tell me where these cards are going if enough people open them. So this is where we are. If enough people get desperate, you're going to see prices like this. Obviously, these prices are way too high. There are other people that sell these cards on, on their respective seller web pages. You have Facebook. You have Discord, eBay, right? I've seen these cards lower, and they have sold. So my big thing with that is, if you are a seller or a bag holder at this point, the thing you always have to remember is even though there may be a lack of supply, there is a good reason for that, right? There is a lack of demand. If you come out on the first day and your prices are high, you may have lost the chance to actually sell that card because there's only a finite amount of buyers. And once they find their cards, people aren't coming back in and going for them. So I think it's, you need to be very wary about supply and demand. You want to get that sale right away. I guess if you don't really care, you have tons of money, then uh, you could price it whatever you want to price it at. But this is the whole reason why these aren't moving. Like the Airy Re on other websites, other sellers had it for $100 and they're gone now. And that just takes that pool of demand. People that actually want these, they take it down. And hopefully you didn't miss the sale. So now we have these. Here are your SECs, and people have been pulling these serial numbers, and some have sold them, and some have not. As I said, there's only going to be so many people that want them, only so many people that are interested in buying at whatever crazy prices that people put them up. I've seen it for, I almost feel like the amount of serial numbers, it was like 1 in 9 cases, 1 in 10 cases. And then I thought people then multiplied it, buy like nine or ten from what the regular sps were and i guess you could do that 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 seems like it's somewhat okay oh by the way i've never really understood as i as i sit here and say this all i never really understood why the grading matters on a serial number card right like isn't inherently in itself the serial number card is limited right so if you get like number three out of ten if it grades a 9 or a 10, what does it really matter? Because it's a serial number. that There's not another one of those that actually exists. I get it. You could say it's perfect and all that. But for me, I put zero premium on a graded serial number outside of it just being authenticated. That's probably the only value I get out of grading a serial number is just the authentication that goes with it. So anyways, getting back to these SECs, you can see... Um, they are up there for wild prices. It's kind of funny, actually, because the the Udaha and the JP was actually more expensive than the Airy Re. 
but it's more just because you have people undercutting each other on the Udaha, right? You have four over there. Airy Reef for a long time was just one, and now there's a second one that showed up like a few a day ago or two days ago. And that's why you have the prices the way it is for that. And then the Megumi is going to be your big one. I don't think anybody's going to buy it for 3500 3500 to me sounds like near serial number price. And if you're going to buy a Megumi at 3500 you might as well pay 4000 for a serial number, right? So this is why this is a problem. You have no signatures on here, and now you have serial numbers. So if you're going to have SECs with no serial numbers, you definitely have to temper the amount that you're going to sell it for downwards. It only makes sense that way. Now, taking a look here at the cards that are left in the box. So first, uh, we're going to take a look at anything that's not a double rare. And what came up here when I searched for these, uh, what you're going to see here are SRs and triple rares. These are going to be the highest from the booster box only. Like I said, the trial deck for set one, they had your bikini cards, which are your uh, big ones from there. Now, when you take a look at these, they're not really all that expensive, right? $11, 865, 299, 343, 250. Again, that explains why the booster box is $20. Taking a look at set two with the SRs and triple rares, 39, 977, 14, 760, 399, 399. And when again, when you think about what I just said, you have supply and actual demand that goes with it. So if you take a look at restart and start a new game triple rare, you can see the listing there shows 977. I didn't click on it. I doubt that it's like $10 of shipping, but you can see the market price listed down there for $21.48. What does that tell you when you have a market price that is almost double the price? It is double the price of what it's currently listed at. I should probably go in there and click the shipping to see, but again, it can't be anything that crazy, right? At most $5, but still it's showing under. That just basically means people have cards and they're not able to actually sell them. Third one, you got SRs showing triple rares. We got 1595, my personal favorite. That was the one card gym time Megumi that I wanted from this set. Um, I know I, I mentioned it on the live that I only wanted one. That was the one. Thank God I got my copies because people started buying this sucker up and increasing the price. So it's interesting to see that uh, sellers moved it up to $15.95 because, again, there's only so many people that want these. And once you get out of a certain price range, they start going, what's the next set that's coming out, right? You just, you're like, ah, I didn't need it that bad. So then you take a look, 450, 450, 445, 444, 405. And you're going to notice with the other cards inside of the set three box that there are not a lot of sales, whether it's SR, triple rares, uh, double rares, all that good stuff. You're not going to see a whole lot of sales. Now, that leaves us with playable cards, right? And the way I go about doing this is going to my friends from Pittsburgh, Y. Schwartz. I actually never met or talked to them before, but they are very nice people. They've been very kind to me. So please do check them out on YouTube. And they do have a video. It's called the 2023 wrap up and 2024 speculative tier list. So this is how, you know, I take a look at the cards, but since I don't actually get a chance to play, I don't have anywhere to play at. Um, this is going to be one of those ways you could find out about all these different sets. And like I said, Taikano really is an old set, as I showed you with the dates of releases. And this is going to give you an idea about where Saikano exists. I'm not going to show you because you should check them out, right? Go ahead. Go, go. like I said, like their videos, subscribe to them, all that good stuff. So what you're going to notice from this is there's going to be some cards that needed to be picked up. And this is going to be your set one. And I know I didn't pick out all the cards. What I did was I picked um, high to low market price. And this is what you end up with, right? You would always think that playable cards would be your most expensive playable cards. So we have uh, Udaha in the double rare slot at $3. Airy Re in your rare slot, $199. So you're going to see there's going to be double rares. There's going to be rares that you'd want to pick up. So the prices on there are really low. Now, if you also go out to X or Twitter, you're going to see Bean Wolf Carmen. Um, he is a washed <laughs> Pittsburgh chic. I was trying to read this. Uh, he's a player for Strictly Broken. Uh, he's that guy from the 20XX tutorial video. 
So if you want to check him out, uh, he's a player, uh, got some good stuff. But someone was asking about Saikano, and he wrote down there, all you need to know. And you're going to take a look at that card, right? It's going to be a pretty powerful card. And why this is important, because right here, you can see a new story, Megumi, $12.15, one listing left. So set two actually does have a card that people wanted to pick up, and you can see they actually did to actually play with this stuff. So you can see 777, 575, 192, and 99 cents are your high cards from set two that are playable. Lastly, we got our set three. We got Jim Time Megumi. Take a look at her. $10.70. There was a heck of a lot of buying. And there's also this path you chose to walk Megumi. She's uh, out of stock at this point. I When I did my live, I was telling people on that call, there are double rares on here for $2.99. And I said, when you have these sets where there's not a whole lot of interest in actually opening them, purchasing them, there's still going to be people that actually want to play this game. They want to use that set no matter what. You could lose all day with it. They're going to want to pick it up because right, why Wars is near and dear to your anime IP love. Now, with that, you can see what's going on here. The bad part about sets like these where people don't want to open them is they might not reappear ever again, forcing you to actually open a box or getting them somehow. The flip side to that is for the people that opened this and wanted to sell play sets, there's only so many people out there in the world that actually want to own this. Uh, maybe even own all of the cards in play set form. And when that happens, when this stuff happens, if you don't actually pre-sell these play sets, you may find yourself in a position where you can't get rid of these play sets. Because if you do the math on this, the double rares are under $140. Now, I mean, you could put a price on that path you chose to walk sold out Megumi there as something higher, but that's what I ended up with. You add in all the other cards from this set, and you're looking near $200. Now, can you actually sell it for $200? Like I said, the demand for it is kind of gone. People may have pre-ordered play sets to begin with. Obviously, people are, are looking for singles as well. So maybe you sell one, maybe you sell two more. But if you have too many, if you overcommitted to this, you may have a problem trying to sell it at that price point. You're going to have to drop it. And that's where you find... There are some people out there that still have Saikano 1 play sets uh, because, you know, nobody really wanted it. And they're like $150. You could probably get a Saikano 1 play set at $125. I didn't even do the math on it, but I'm pretty sure you could get it for a little, a, a, a bit of a cheap price, right? I just showed you these cards right here. You do the math on it, it's probably really cheap to end up with it. Now, moving back forward... Um, you also have PR cards, which um, could be proven useful. And in this one, it's not even in the booster box, right? You got it for playing at your LGS. Stealthy Class 8 Megumi, six listings, $3. Currently, I don't know if they're shipping. There probably is. It's probably like $0.99, cents, so it's probably like $3.99. Uh, one thing I want to talk about here, one last thing, is um, PR cards. On the topic of PR cards, I... I am amazed at the amount of commitment some players actually have out there. Because if you click in any of these, you're going to see some people with a lot of freaking cards. It's actually amazing the commitment they have to grind out every week and get these cards. Like, you can check out the Bushy Road Title Cup. So, new Bushy Road Title Cup, the prize for uh, playing in there is the Cat Ear Beauty Megumi. And uh, there's five listings for 528. And then you have the Shop Tournament. This Cat Ear Beauty Airy Re for, um, I guess, like 84 cents showing out here. They might be shipping again inside when you click on it. But just the amount of people committed to, like, getting lots of these cards and, you know, just putting it up for sale for the rest of us that don't have an LGS to play it. I think that's pretty amazing what they do. So if you take all of this in combination, everything I said, right, you have no signatures, you have some bad-looking art, you have really old, outdated meta usage, right? You're going to get power creeped out. You have an anime that basically was from years ago that Bushy Road decided to print. Uh, you have all these things going for it, and this is why you end up with where you are. I mean, I think 
I don't, I don't know why Bushy Road really printed it. I know Kula probably did a bunch of surveys and said he wanted Saikana, which is okay. Everybody likes their own stuff, right? I would love to have Lucky Star come over to English. That would be amazing. But is it the right thing to actually do? I think not. That's probably not where we want to be. Unfortunately, there's some people out there that um, bought into the set, bought heavily into the set, or just wanted to open it for fun. Hopefully you like the anime because you may end up holding these longer than you expect. Now, just think about the next one that's coming out. Bang Dream Premium Booster Box. What do you think is going to happen with that one? It's going to be a fun time, I'll tell you that. So, as always, if you need anything, feel free to write down in the video below. Uh, I do have a mailing address. I have an email address. You can find me on X or Twitter. Also, there's one last thing. Oh, if you join the... If you join as a channel member, please let me know because I don't get notified of it. I'll send you a Discord link if you want to join Discord. I have some channel members, of course, that don't want to use Discord. And uh, they just want to be here to support me and check out my channel member exclusive videos. Uh, lastly, TCG Player. I do have a link. I'm affiliated. Money from the TCG Player that I get is used for monthly, or I gotta take out that monthly at this point, uh, for quarterly giveaways. Yes, quarterly giveaways. And why that's very important is because it is giveaway time. Yes, so um, this is going to be your first entry into the giveaway. I'm going to be giving away 10. So thank you for the people that actually use it. That was pretty crazy. When I looked at the total, I'm like, man, I could give out 10 of these gift cards. So 10 gift cards, $15 each. Um, they're going to be, it'll be rolled at some time in the future. Like I said, this is entry number one. So uh, it is open worldwide at this point. Um, I, I used to say inside of the United States, but uh, check out TCG player. I didn't know, but you can actually pick different countries. I knew it for a while, but it, it affected me when I went to Vietnam because as I was checking licorice recoil prices, it would switch to Vietnam. And how you do that is you go into the filter, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you get pick your shipment. What's going to happen is it's going to make many things out of stock. But as you see on the screen, we have two cards, restart and start a new game, triple rare and that rewarding scene Megumi. And what you're going to notice on there is the shipping is going to be freaking expensive. So what I say here again is you can, if you're outside of the United States, feel free to enter if you want. But make sure that you actually use this card, please, if you actually do enter. Um, that's that's my only stipulation to that. But yeah, you can actually use TCG Player. Oh, my cat has decided to stop by. She is meowing at my door. Yes, hello. What do you want? I'm sorry that she's interrupting this and I'm not going to go and stop it. <laughs> but um, anyways, uh, what what would happen here is if you want to use TCG Player, right? You click on the link. It takes you out to TCG Player. It's probably going, if you're in another country, it's going to already have you defaulted to that other country. Look for some cards. Uh, make a purchase. If you make a purchase again, the money comes back to me and I can do these giveaways. So... Um, the question of the day that is going to be cereals, cereals, and I do really love uh, these Airy Reed cards, but that's just too easy, right? If someone looks in the comment, they're going to be like, why do you write in all these serial numbers? So today, my question to you is, what is your favorite cereal? I know, I know. Uh, mine is Reese's Puffs, and what <laughs> my wife, when I remember the first time I got Reese's Puffs, and she was like, is that seriously the cereal you're getting? I don't know. And and then when I tell other people Reese's Puffs is my favorite cereal, they're like, yeah, because it's, you know, just like a a chocolate, it's like a chocolate bar, chocolate candy, candy, whatever they want to call it. Now that I say that out loud, is it a chocolate bar? So it just counts as candy. But candy always to me seems like, you know, like strawberry hard candy or something, right? It's not actually, I don't, I wouldn't call it candy chocolates. So just chocolates. Anyways, I'm really thinking about this too hard, but as you can see, I put the nutritional facts. And when you take a look at the nutritional facts outside of the sugars, it's not so bad. If you actually take a cereal, like uh, Total Raisin Bran, you can see the sugar in there because raisins have that natural sugar. So when I when I 
when I purchased this Reese's Puff, my wife laughed at me and I grabbed another cereal off the shelf and I showed her. I'm like, look, it's not so bad. And she's like, yeah, you're right. It's not so bad. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it just has peanut butter, has some chocolate in there. It's not so bad. Um, but do down below, let me know what your favorite cereal is. And that way uh, people have to wonder what the heck is actually going on. So that enters you into the giveaway. Like I said, this is entry one. There's going to be multiple entries ahead. I want you to do this by Sunday. Today's Thursday. So I want you to, by the time I wake up on Sunday morning, which is, what day is that? The 28th. Um, I want you to write the serial number down. So I wake up, you're entering uh, $15, 10 winners. Uh, again so again thank you so much for all the people that do use my tcg player link i really appreciate it. it's a fun way to give back to the community in a free sort of way now um, if you do need anything else again feel free to reach out i do owe people some email i'm really sorry if you're out there and you sent me an email and it's been many 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 days um, i'm getting back to you shortly okay thank you so much but as always have fun be happy and don't spend any of your money on psychano i'll see you later bye